Recycling doesn't have to be a chore. Just take it from CMSD students who created their own unique recycling programs at their schools when they realized they didn't have one to begin with. See how they're helping the community and saving the planet one water bottle at a time and even getting national attention for it. Welcome to the greenhouse at Bolton School, made out of more than 500 recycled water bottles. Who knew that this recycling program would take off and turn into something so exciting and something bigger than we ever could imagine. It all started after her third grade class read a few inspirational books. Shopping locally. We noticed that children were doing things in those books and they asked me, Ms. Pamela, what could we do? We went around the school, we took an inventory about the waste in the school and we were very surprised that our school did not have a recycling program. So the students decided to start their own, the first program ever at the school. It began small, asking their teacher to reuse paper and then the ideas began to flow. We decided to start collecting water bottles because I had a plan. The plan began with a goal of collecting 6,600 water bottles from the community. They received more than 7,000 by the end of the year and tracked data along the way about their impact on the environment. How many trees we were saving, how much gas we were saving. What I learned is that you can collect many water bottles and you can save our earth and our environment. And build a greenhouse after a quick internet search. We put our heads together and we started building. We bought some bamboo sticks and we stacked the water bottles on top of each other on the bamboo sticks. Then tied them together and built a frame using PVC piping. Shower curtains and clear shoe organizers helped complete the greenhouse, where the students take turns caring for the plants, checking on the materials, and learning about the water cycle. The excitement it brought in my classroom is beyond phenomenal. Um, the kids work together. They were problem solving, making uh, cross curriculum connections that I never imagined could happen. She also never imagined the attention this would bring to her classroom and the whole school. WKYC ran a story about their efforts. The Cleveland Cavaliers held a pep rally at the school and named them MVP, the Most Valuable Planet Award. And the greenhouse was even featured in Scholastic Magazine, where the class won the Kids Spotlight Contest. My children feel like celebrities, and they should because they've accomplished a lot this year, and I hope that this is something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. They're not the only school making new memories by recycling old stuff. Sixth graders at Orchard STEM School created their own successful program too. I believe if we keep wasting resources like most people do, eventually we will run out of them. Wise words from this elementary school student. So wise, in fact, he and his classmates were invited by an environmental official in Washington, D.C. to present at a national conference. One of our projects was to make clothes out of recyclable materials. Here are a few examples. The participants there were from all over the United States. There were lawyers. There were people from all the EPAs throughout the United States and they were amazed by our students. They couldn't believe that these sixth graders could present themselves as they did professionally. We had a standing ovation. There were, there were actually some, some of the people had tears in their eyes. The Ohio EPA was moved enough to take action, donating 30 recycling containers to the school, one for each room, to help grow their efforts. One day a week, I have a team of students go around and collect all the paper from the recycling containers and then they're responsible for putting it in the paper retriever dumpster. And then next year, that those teams of students will be teaching the younger students how to carry on that process. She said the students even police each other now. Everyone is like, no, that goes in the recycling container. Making sure the three R's reduce, reuse, and recycle <laughs> never get thrown away. I just want to see like my kids, their kids, their kids and kids on and on and on be able to live the life they want without having to worry about trash all over the place. Orchard was inspired by Bolton's greenhouse too and plans to build one in the coming school year. Bolton is also planning on another big recycling project for their students and we can't wait to see what they come up with. 
For more stories like this, you can visit the CMSD News Bureau website at clevelandmetroschools.org news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.